This time on Tia's Bella Vita. It's not a selfie. It's a shitty picture. You're right. Hey YouTube, it's Tia and I am so sorry for not making the video that I promised you guys when I was going to make it. I'm not going to the club or anything this week because it, it's okay. I actually have a good excuse this time. The reason why the vlogs are late and not what they should be is because my iPhone caught on fire. Yep, I know what you're thinking now. How did your iPhone catch on fire, Tia? To be honest, I don't know how it caught on fire. I woke up late because the alarm didn't go off and when I went to go pick up my phone and say, hey, why didn't my alarm go off? It was so hot that I couldn't touch it. I dropped it back on the bed and then when I turned on the light, I saw that there was smoke coming out of my iPhone. So it didn't burst out into flames, but had I woken up maybe an hour later, it could have. After it happened, I went and looked online and apparently this is not an isolated incident. It's not like the first time that an Apple phone or any smartphone has caught on fire. The phone was underneath my pillow that night. I don't normally sleep with my phone underneath my pillow and it was also charging. I, I charge my phone when I sleep every night. I don't normally sleep with it under my pillow but this night I did and it, that happened. But I'm not sure if that's a cause because I've slept with it underneath the pillow before and I mean it spends all day in my pocket so I didn't think that that should have anything to do with it. I never knew that that was a hazard for iPhones is that they could randomly at any time catch on fire start smoking and and get all heated and catch on fire i didn't know that was a thing so i had to get a new phone oh oh my hair my hair i had to get a new phone i got the 5s and the camera is actually better so i guess it was a blessing in disguise for you guys in these vlogs but it was kind of annoying i called apple and they say they're doing an inquiry but they never got back to me as of now you want to see the action no Okay. But anyways, that is why this vlog is coming up late. That is why this vlog isn't me showing you the nightlife of Milan. It's going to be something different. Tomorrow, me and Enrico are going to Expo, so I'm going to show you guys an Expo. But yeah, the reason was because my iPhone just stopped working. We'll say. We'll be nice. I mean, I'm not one for retribution. I still love Apple. Obviously, I still went out and bought another iPhone, spent all my money on buying another iPhone because I do like, I love their products. All of I have a Mac, I have an iPod, I have an iPhone. Like, I am a very loyal Apple customer. But dang, y'all. <laughs> could have warned me at the end of the day though i must say that i was very lucky i was lucky that i woke up when i did i caught the situation when i did i was lucky that i had the money on hand to buy a new phone and so it's not a huge disruption in my video schedule it's not a huge disruption in my work schedule or anything like that but i mean that's just the explanation palazzo italia what is that it's the italian pavilion Oh, oh, so everybody else just has a pavilion and the Italians have a palace? Yes. Milano right now can you see it behind me Expo is like I've said in some other videos it's a big um, exposition. it's a big exposition and showcase for, with the theme for it now because we're in Italy. the food and, theme yeah. this year and so like every country well not every country like Jamaica and Nigeria aren't here but many countries come and they set up these pavilions where they showcase stuff about their country and about their country's food and so now we're gonna go explore 
it's not just wood, it's also renewable energy, you know, just okay, everything for just... the environment. What it's... for do too? I, I, I don't get it. You know, something like that. It's... I don't even know how to explain it. All right, well... Um, we're gonna discover it. Yeah, right. we're gonna discover it. And you <laughs> yes. guys are gonna discover it too. We're gonna show yeah, you. Because we, okay, we're actually coming because we have the school tickets. Everybody else paid 30 euros to come here and I paid seven. <laughs> yep. coffee off who's gonna win Kenya or Italy don't tell the Italian if Kenya wins look at him oh, that's good good is it as good as Italian coffee no I like it I like it better actually. he likes it better oh, I want sugar man oh. it tastes good but no actually it tastes good even Without the sugar, it taste. Come on. Yeah, it has a really different taste. It's so quiet in here. Welcome to Sri Lanka in Italy, guys. It's Sri Lanka. a whole group of children to get in the line for these chips but I mean look how many of them there are they thought I was gonna wait behind them they were they were running too mm -mm. we're waiting in line for the Dutch fries they're supposed to be some of the best right we had to choose between Dutch and Belgium Holland and Belgium we chose Holland because there were shorter lines yeah. <laughs> Dutch fries for lunch, everybody. No, it's Dutch fries. I said Dutch. This is the Bel Paese. Yeah, if you want, if you if you want to get in, you actually have to go in line. Ah. Uh, the end of it. The, uh, if you want to Good. see for real the Italian palace, you have to wait in this line, guys. Do you see the end of the line? And I don't see the end of the line because the line is still continuing over there. Let me show you. See those people? They're all in line. I'm happy for Italy though because Italy should have made mad money from Expo. You guys, the line is still going. Literally, the exposition is there. doesn't have any food but in reality we have every food you guys every all the immigrants came to America they brought foods from their own countries and they made them better Enrico says no because he's a salty Italian that doesn't like pepperoni pizza yeah, you guys in the American pavilion we got games <laughs> we have pumpkin pie apple pie pecan pie turkey there was no line but it's awesome 
Oh my gosh, is this for real? Look at that. Look at that. Stick each state where you think it belongs on the map. Oh my gosh, nobody knows. Wait, wait. Did you see that you Please don't bring away the states. <laughs> and actually, right? Oh, okay. Why does it keep cutting off? Show me where Connecticut is, Enrico. Yeah. The one called is Rhode Island, right? Yeah. Come on, name some more. On the top. What's on the top? I don't remember if it was Boston or New York. Come on, Enrico, think. And Boston is not a state. No, I know, but Massachusetts or... Think, Enrico. Massachusetts? No. That guy just came out of nowhere. Kelly. Hey, isn't that? Huh? I can't, I don't know what Cosa? Wait, I don't get it. Yeah, it's that one. No, it's that one. Wait, how is... Come on, yeah, no. Wait a second. How is he getting it wrong when the shape is there? Yeah, right. The shape is on the map no. and on the map. That's right. Okay, so most people know New York as New York City. New York City is only right here. That was actually really embarrassing because she tried correcting the state, but then she was wrong and she was American. So we finished Expo. What did you think, Enrico? I think that actually, I mean, it's it's very, it was very cool. So the place is very cool. What they build and all the pavilions are, uh, uh, you know, beautiful and stuff. But I still think though that 30 euros for a ticket to go at Expo and looking at the prices of the food and stuff. The food was expensive. That, yeah, the food was very expensive. I mean, no, the, the Expo ticket isn't worth it. 30 euros in my opinion. Especially for the food, for the fact that you pay the food a lot inside. Yeah, yeah, but we spent like, how much did we spend? I, have no I think idea. 50 euros probably. between the two of us. Yeah, probably. We spent like 50 euros together and luckily our tickets, like I said, mine was 7 and Rico's was 10 because we got the student yeah. discounts. But the regular Expo tickets are 30 euros or, or more than 30. Yeah, anyways, maybe. like I've never been to another Expo so I can compare it to the, to the you know. To another Expo, to another yeah, me expo. neither. But, you know, it, I, I really enjoyed myself today. Yeah, it was fun. It was cool. It was pretty. It was nice to see and I'm I'm satisfied. Yeah.